So hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Terry. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys and gals are all doing well out there. So got something to, to talk about today and I would like to correct a huge mistake that I made in one of my previous videos. My AV1 is coming to Twitch video. You see, in said video, I was under the impression that whenever Dan Clancy, whenever he did that interview with uh, Harris Heller a few months ago, that um, whenever he was talking about client-side transcoding, I thought that he meant that you could send an AV1 or HEVC stream to Twitch as a source quality stream, and then as the viewer, any system I might have been watching that stream on would do the transcode in real time instead of Twitch's server. So like, you know, my PC, phone, or a, you know, Apple TV, Chromecast, whatever it might be on. But no, that is where I was, was, was wrong. That is not what he meant by client-side transcoding, not even a little bit. What he meant is that the casters, the streamers PC, would be able to send out multiple resolution streams at one time to Twitch for your viewers to then choose what kind of quality they want to, they want to look at. And at first, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I sort of kind of did have that knee-jerk reaction of like, well, wait a minute, why should it be up to me, the creator, to use my bandwidth, my hardware, to send out multiple streams to Twitch, and they're still taking 50-50 of sub revenue, like where's all that sub money going? Like if they can't afford transcode service for everybody, like why, why should I use my own hardware for that? Which in my opinion, of course, is a knee jerk reaction, but I think it's also kind of reasonable. Like again, where's all that money going, right? But then I cooled off and I took a step back, okay? I, I took a huge step back and I said, you know what? Let me look, look at this from an, from an objective point of view here, okay? And the more I thought about it, the more, even though I hate to admit it, it does make a lot of sense. One, it would save Twitch millions of dollars, I would probably, like that's just a ballpark guesstimate. I have no idea how much their monthly transcode cycles cost for their server, but I mean like, I can only assume, because Dan Clancy did say that their transcode stuff is one of, if not the biggest expense that Twitch has right now. So it would save Twitch a ton of money. And be because that they admittedly do have older transcode servers that use much older hardware than what's available now, even to everyday consumers here, the, the, level, of, the level of detail, level of quality that the official Twitch transcode servers can pump out, it's starting to show their age a little bit. So with this new Twitch broadcast beta they have coming out here soon, how does it actually work? Well, if you get accepted, they're going to give you a custom built version of OBS Studio and they've made it in collaboration with OBS, Nvidia, and of course Twitch. And the way that it works is that if you have an Nvidia based graphics card going all the way back to the GTX 900 series, which is in my opinion great because it saves on that e-waste, you know, it will allow you to send out multiple video streams to Twitch. So yeah, that would mean that with this new setup, if you use AV1, you could theoretically stream all the way up to 4K60 and send multiple resolutions downscaled from that to Twitch. So your PC would send out a 4K stream, a 1080 stream, 720p, 480, so on and so forth, up to five. Okay, I take that back. It's starting off at three streams, but then eventually it will roll out to five, which actually makes a lot of sense because quietly on the new RTX 4000 cards, Nvidia did put out a driver update a few months back that actually upgraded the uh, the number of concurrent uh, NVENC sessions. And I believe by default, before the update, you could only have three NVENC sessions at one time on consumer cards, but they actually bumped that up to five. So that's actually kind of cool. And the cool thing about that is that the level of quality you can get from an RTX 4, especially the RTX 4000, but even the RTX you know, 2000 series, 3000 series, even if you're just using HEVC, you're going to get a huge quality bump in comparison to X264 with the same bit rate. So if you're streaming a Twitch right now at 1080p, uh, 60, 6,000 kilobit per second for a bit rate, if you were to swap from X264 to HEVC or, or H265, the level of quality you're gonna get staying at the exact same bit rate, it's gonna be huge, it's gonna be awesome. And then if you have an RTX 4000 series, AV1, like why wouldn't you use AV1 if you have an RTX 4000 series? Like the level of quality you, you can get at 1080p 
at 6,000 kilobits per second at 60 frames per second with AV1 is incredible. It really, really, truly is. Or if you wanna push the limits a little bit and stream at 8,000 kilobits per second, because again, I know that people say that you shouldn't, but everybody I know on Twitch does it if you have the upload bandwidth to do so and the hardware to support it as well. If you wanna stream at 1080p 60 at 8,000 kilobits per second with AV1, it's basically lossless at that point. Okay, not actually fully lossless, but like compared to X264, 1080p 60 at 8,000 kilobits per second with the AV1 encoder is phenomenal, y'all. It really is. And you might be saying, well, Terry, okay, th that's great and all, but my system is going to be the one doing the transcoding. So that means that my system has to be the one I'm gaming on with everything else on top of streaming, but not just sending out one stream, I'm gonna be sending out, let's say a 1080p stream, a 720p stream, and a 480 stream, all on one PC. Like that's gonna bog down my system performance a whole lot, right? Well, y'all, you know what? I'll put it to you this way. On modern day graphics cards, especially if you're rocking like, you know, a 3080, 3090, or a 4080, 4090, even a 4070 Ti in my opinion, I don't believe so. The way that NVIDIA has their NVENC encoders optimized these days is absolutely insane. And the way I see it, modern day graphics cards are, this might sound a little weird, but they're extremely overpowered for what they are. Like I can record on my one PC here, 4K60 at the P7 quality preset, like the highest quality NVENC preset you can get using AV1 and the encoder is only at like 25% of what this thing can actually do. And the way I see it, that is the worst case scenario, right? So if my one PC is sending out just a 1080p stream and a 720p stream at 8,000 kilobits per second using AV1, that really, it just in, in my opinion, and of course I have to test it all out here if I get accepted into the beta, y'all, fingers crossed, that should not be a problem. Because as we all know, 1080p and 720p are a heck of a lot way easier to encode than 4K. But again, given how well optimized and how efficient these new NVENC encoders are on the, on the RTX 4000 series especially, it really shouldn't be a problem. So to sum all this up, I do apologize. I was wrong in that information I gave you guys in that last video that AV1 is coming to Twitch. So again, I am sorry. I just wanted to correct that. And I just wanted to come on here and just sort of kind of ask you guys and gals that you all think about this. Do you think this is a very smart move? Do you think this is a good thing? Or do you think this is just in, uh, Twitch trying to pass the buck off to us, the creator, to save them money? But here, here's the thing, okay? Now here's, here's the thing. If they're doing this to save money, I really wish there would be a way for us to like go into our Twitch channel dashboards and tell Twitch, hey, we don't want any sort of kind of reserved spot for transcodes. We'll do it all on our system. But if we do that, can we get a higher rev split? Like, you know, 70, 30 or something, you know what I mean? Because if I can get higher quality streams, because this way here, you know, Twitch is saving money by not allocating a spot for my stuff on their platform, on their transcode servers. And again, since I'm literally doing the heavy lifting all on my own system here, maybe they can bump up the rev share. And maybe also in turn, cut down on advertising. Just a thought. Okay, that's a joke. They're never gonna lower the amount of ads we get, huh? One can dream though, right? But again, folks, what do y'all think? Do me a favor, sign off below and I'll catch you guys and gals next time.